we want to criticize the workouts and whatever. But this year, more than ever, I think it's more about like getting everybody involved in the workout. The Open is, it's supposed to be about the community. It's been cool for community involvement. It's been cool to go in there on Friday night lights and see, I mean, it's packed in there and watching everybody throw down. And, um, that's what it's about. This episode is presented by Whoop. Performing your best every day requires an understanding of the relationship between your physical exertion, mental load, sleep quality, general health, and your body's ability to bounce back. Optimize your training and recover with Whoop. Use code MAYHEM for 15% off at whoop.com. Use the team invite code CO. MM dash mayhem to join the mayhem athletes community on whoop and be included in giveaways and exclusive offers. Seth, not as a coffee drinker. No, uh, he's too young. He's dude, I 22. love the smell though. <laughs> That's the way I was. And then now are we rolling? Yes. All right. We're rolling. Wow. Special guest, uh, Angelo has been removed from the podcast after his actions last week. So we brought, uh, just we, kidding. <laughs> completely <laughs> joking. So we brought the guy from from the Mayhem Athlete Reels who don't, we don't tag on the Mayhem Athlete Reels. Yeah, yeah. We just thought it'd be a nice kind. Did we not? It'd be I nice, was like a nice and I slid over and I saw I was untagged and I was like, oh, <laughs> all right, all right. you what? didn't like? Did you not like my comment? <laughs> what happened? No, I loved it. I, I okay. think I liked it. I don't okay, know. good. I don't know what happened. Oh, it just I I, I, I don't even know either. But uh, we're on Instagram. I can always see know. like poor Bennett. I'm, like I'm back ish. Oh, Bennett will post a reel and then you know like the first comment he'll was, tag himself that he made the video, <laughs> but he won't tag Seth. That I'm sure there's like a Mac like. To, to his credit, there's probably a max limit or something, but Seth was like, hey, dude, I was tagged, and then you untagged me. Like, what's the yeah, You tell us. Yeah. I don't know what happened. Is that That's basically the long and the short of it? That was pretty much it. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was Jen. I thought Jen was the one who did all the tagging. And then somebody else said something, and Bennett was like, I'm, I'm just leaving. I'm out of here. Yeah. I'm done. I quit. <laughs> no, Bennett, get mad and leave? <clears throat> no. I think he was that ain't, that ain't, no. Nah, that's not yeah. Bennett. That's not Bennett. <laughs> ben. Good morning. 53rd in the world. <laughs> On tw- uh, 24.2. Mm-hmm. I mean, Man. we're just sitting in the presence of greatness. Right Shine now. up the trophy. Yeah. Hey, you watched it, right? You I watched there. it. I watched the whole thing. Yeah. Sat on my uh, jerk blocks over there and watched you just transition like you're the best transitioner in 2024. What did you row at? A 151. Incredible. Yeah, dude. Hey. <clears throat> The row, it was not about the row. It was not anything about the row. Yeah, people were all, oh, it's a big man workout. It's a big man. It wasn't. It was all about transitions and yeah. how fast you could cycle the deadlift and the double unders. Really? Yeah. I and felt like how, how quick you could get off at 290 meters. I felt so yeah. frantic <laughs> every time I'd get off the rower. Anybody? Oh, no. I did. Kevin, not you. Kevin not you. made me sit I know, in that chair until 300. I'm not, I'm not, no, no, hey, I know. I know. It wasn't no, a no. jab. It yeah. was a jab at the collective whole of the. No, Kevin did good, but I was a little frustrated by it because I wanted to do that. And I was like, everybody else is doing everybody it. Everybody else is doing you it. Know, but yeah. he'd be like, wait, okay. And I'd be like, thank you. And yeah. then I would I would literally I as watched, fast as I could. As get I to was the water. watching, I think Scott walked up. I was like, oh, Ben's off that 10, you know, 10 round pace. Cause you were like 158, maybe. Like you were back in the rower at two. And I was like, it's gonna be tough. And then you just like sped up. And no, I, you you had some like change by the end of it. Yeah. No, Darren said I gained three seconds every round. Yeah, I, I believe uh, it. That's about right. I believe it. Oh, uh, I don't know. I, I don't mean, know what happened so or where it here happened. you are, dude, like above the likes of Noah Olson, and I mean you, uh, Sam, Sam C down there, Chandler. I mean, it's got to got to feel pretty damn good, dude. I mean, actually, I don't. I mayhem athletes. What just Roman beat you, right? Yeah, I felt a little cold shoulder for some people in the. Gym. Oh, who, didn't, who didn't, cold they didn't like that? I'm not going to say any names, but Guy was pretty. <laughs> no, I'm, j- nah. no, I'm joking. I'm just I'll just joking. say the initials, Guy. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But That's awesome. I don't know. I'd like to think they're happy for me, hopefully. Everybody's happy for you. It's open. Yeah. That's what I've come to realize this year. Like, everybody, you know, we want to criticize the workouts and whatever. But this year, more than ever, I think it's more about, like, getting everybody involved in the workouts. Like, Quarterfinals is now what the open used to be, I feel like. Yeah, 100%. Where, for, you know, for top athletes. For, for top athletes. Like, I think it is awesome that, you know, everybody, you know, for the most part can do these workouts. The double unders probably tripped up some people, no pun intended. Um, I don't know, though, dude. I judged it Friday Night Lights, and I had a couple people, like, um, getting, like, do, go, like, going for singles or whatever, and, like, it was PRs for them. Yeah, but that's like, what I'm saying. It's yeah. like, it's, there were, you know, I... Each, if you look at each workout, the first workout was a burpee workout. The second workout, everybody's upset that it was so much hinging and whatever. But it's like, it's a good workout. Mm, 100%. I, if you look at, like, the test compared to the first test, I don't think it's a great test. 
within with those two workouts. Yeah. But it's a good workout. You know, it's it it was all about transition and how fast you could transition and your setup. One thing I do not <laughs> like, and I know that they did this for the ease of affiliates and setup. There's got to be some type of four plan. Like it, it is kind of. Mm. Um, oh, because transitions. Yeah, matter. I just you know like make the there's a line that you have to have the rope between. I don't know something, but. You know, you it saw, is what it is. You saw Ben Smith's joke. I saw Ben Smith's joke. It was great. Me and me and Ben have uh, went back and forth a little bit on the uh, the open workouts because we're just like old men shaking our fist at the <laughs> sky. But I've just kind of come to this realization: like the open is it's supposed to be about the community. It's been cool for community involvement. It's been cool to go in there on Friday night lights and see. I mean, it's packed in there and watching everybody throw down and. Um, yeah, that's what it's about. Mountain Ops has combined my two biggest passions, fitness and the outdoors, as well as sourcing quality ingredients. Mountain Ops Supplements has helped me get the most out of my training sessions in and out of the gym. If you want to start taking your results seriously, I've put together a bundle of Mountain Ops products. New and returning customers save 20% on their purchase when you visit mountainops.com and use the code FRONING. That's M-T-N-O-P-S dot com, code F-R-O-N-I-N-G. No doubt. And I got kind of torn up last. I think I, there was a couple comments. I didn't get torn apart. But what the point that I was trying to make was like. Is this your CrossFit homer? You are a CrossFit homer. No, this is my point. My point was like, to, you're, you're right. Well, there's two things. One is that it's cool for me to also see like you guys are still. You're going to make 20, top 25% whether you do it with your eyes closed. And, and you can trip on all your double unders and probably still qualify for quarterfinals. Right. But everybody's still shooting for the stars, which mm -hmm. was cool to see. But what I was trying to say was it doesn't matter. Like the first three tests could be. I said, oh, it's great to see recognizable faces no matter what the test oh, is. Oh, yeah, somebody was real upset. Somebody was real upset about just that. Just because the leaderboard reflects it doesn't mean it's a good test. Yeah. Yes, and and I guess that wasn't – I wasn't trying to say that makes it a good test, but my point was it doesn't really matter. Like, we could throw – you could do sandbag cleans for five minutes, and, like, the top athletes, no matter what the three tests are – Especially it, when it's the top 25%. Especially when it's the top it's 25%. the top 25%. You're not missing anybody that should be going to 100%. Games or having a chance to go to semi or yeah. quarterfinals or whatever the hell right. it is now, but – yeah, so it wasn't well, me. I wasn't 10%. verifying the test. I was just saying whatever the top <laughs> athletes are going to rise to the top. No matter ten percent was still a lot, yeah. but I mean, with twenty five, it's even more of a cushion. So, yeah. Well, I mean, if you look at like the semifinal cuts this year, the last year there was one guy who made the games, but he was forty fourth. Uh, so yeah, I mean, year. once you get to quarterfinals, I think that, that is a big difference. Like oh, the tests yeah. Yeah, need yeah. to be better mm -hmm. tests. Um, they need to be yeah. more well-rounded tests. There needs to be, I don't know how many time I can, times I can say tests, but is it tests now or is it events? <clears throat> it's whatever you want it to be. I believe it is tests, though. I think I want it events. I miss yeah. events. Yeah. As long I think. I, I think but I also hate world records. The differentiation they were trying to make was workouts. Yeah. A workout on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, and speaking of also, I think that a these wad, ones. One would say. What's that? A wad. A wad, oh. yeah. They're, they're, these aren't wads. These are ben knows events about or tests. <laughs> I've been at a. Yeah, ben, <laughs> ben, had a, ben had a killer night. Um, the, uh, but here's here's another one. You tell me if I'm wrong, but like these also seem like they're not going to interfere with your typical. Like you're training for the games, right? Yeah, yeah. And it seems like these don't mess with your training too much. No, nah, I mean, no. Other than your spine, yeah. Other than my low the back. Hamstring. But really though, workouts. like I mean, are you hurting from it? Not really. I mean, I was just sore. Yeah. You know, I'm tired of pulling off the floor though. Yeah. So. Yeah, like but that's literally the I one weakness you have is pulling yeah, off the floor, and that's all floor. we've done. And it was in both workouts. <laughs> yeah. I was like, all right, we got to get this out of the way, I guess. That's out of the way, you know? So, um, probably gymnastics and maybe some squatting, if I had to guess. In the next yeah, we're one. about to do a million thrusters for sure. Well, yeah. some people are about to do a million thrusters. Yeah. yeah. Going below parallel one way or another. Um, Scott looks like he wants to talk. He keeps grabbing the mic from Ben, and he has well, I'm just <laughs> curious. He's assuming the posture. Can you see I don't, him though? I don't disagree uh, with what you're saying about the open. I think you're right, but I'm curious what made you change your tune because you were kind of irritated when the workout came. I'm not competing. First came out, <laughs> huh? I said I'm not competing. Okay. Yeah. I if mean, I was competing. I, I I don't know. It's just yeah. Watching, like I said, you watch Ben or somebody like who's a really good athlete do really well on this workout, and then th the frustrating part is if I was an athlete, like you, there's some scores in there that you have no idea where they came from or also like I was saying the 290 meters and stuff like that and the workout's a lot about transitions and you know if I was an athlete I might be a little bit more frustrated like if I was competing in the season I don't know it, it's hard to say is there some sort of like um like take or uh like you give some you take some so there's gonna be workouts like this where they're so easy anyone can beat you at it 
but it's also good for you because you don't have to stress about the workout. Yeah, I think and so. And this isn't a stage of the season you have to worry about it. Yeah, I like guess I'm looking at it to too from like 30,000 foot where I'm I'm looking at the whole season because I'm not competing. So I'm watching more of like Seth or some of these other guys that are, and girls that I'm worried about, you know, what's what's to come or how can we help them farther down the season. And so I'm looking at it from a different perspective where I'm like, guys, this really doesn't matter. Like I used to get super stressed about it and I would still be super stressed about it because here's the deal is everybody – put so much worth in that leaderboard, you know, that you you almost put some of that worth on yourself. So I used to, there was a rule where like, I wouldn't look at the leaderboard, but one time on Monday night and I'd be <coughs> done with it. And so that's, that's the hard part. And trying to tell these guys that it, it really doesn't matter because once quarterfinals comes out, hopefully if the tests are better, the events, whatever, are more well-rounded, that's, that's where you can kind of see where your fitness is at. And you still don't even want to put too much worth in that because you still have a lot of time to train to get better for that. I screwed it so up. So it is tough. I screwed it up for Guy on Friday because he did so well. I was so fired up for him. I was like, hey, just so you know, you've got the best score at Mayhem right now. You blew it. And he's like, yeah, I'm not. I'm really trying not to look at the leaderboard. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Crap. You're like, here, no, look, though, right no, here. No, 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 <laughs> look, 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 look what you did. <laughs> you don't have to. I'm looking for you. <laughs> so, yeah, I, it's it's tough. Um I guess, you know, years of experience doing it and, and just seeing, hey, um, it doesn't matter. And especially, like I said, since they've they've opened it up to 25%, now it really doesn't matter, which I think, you know, Angelo was sitting there last week and was upset about it, but I think it's good. I think for the collective CrossFit community, I think it's better that you do that. And like I said, it gets those people um, that were, you know, 10% to 25 or right on the cusp. Now they get to kind of experience what it feels like to do a competition. I hate it for the affiliate managers or whoever's running the affiliate, like Josh Malone is going to have a nightmare of a week that week. But, um, yeah, I think it's cool. What about you? Like, uh, well, I mean, like, what about the people going into quarterfinals that are like, they can't even do a ring muscle up. But I they did everything I, in the wait, open. This is what I was trying Guess to say. What? I was they trying won't to make it to semifinals. Yeah, yeah they won't. They it's won't. gonna be fine. And <laughs> also, I, I think that um, you know, this is a point I was trying to make last time as well. I think there'll also be a lot of them don't sign up. Like, remember, yeah. you got to put you got to put money down again. You got to yeah. sign up again. So I think a lot of people, some will be like, okay, cool. I thought that I, I thought that I had a chance, maybe. And they're kind of you know knocking on the door. They're upcoming athletes. Like, mm -hmm. but I think there'll be far less people at the quarterfinal. Yeah. And again, like the first one, you're going to get your first quarterfinal workout. It's going to have something probably pretty complex yeah. and complicated. Well, don't they announce all five or however many events at the same time? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think they do. Do you know the percentage of people with like the 10%? How many signed, how many actually signed up? Zero. Zero idea. That'd be interesting to see how many more how many? sign probably up. Well, I mean, yeah, because here's what you're going to see is 25% and <laughs> workouts are announced. They're like, well, I can't do half of those, so they're not going to sign up. Right. So, so right. that hopefully that doesn't bleed over into the next stage where it's like, Oh, yeah. we got to get, we got to get them to sign up. So, you know, <laughs> yeah. like, let's make them. Yeah. We're going hard. back to the old way. Yep. I did beat rich on 24.2. You did. Yeah, you did. Oh. Just want to go out on a limb. Cause I didn't do it. <laughs> he didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> I did my own version last night. Um, story goes Friday. I was going to do it with Seth and uh, Dre. Mm -hmm. and up. And, yeah. No, it was just me, you, and Dre, and then Gee wanted oh, to jump oh, in. Oh. So we had three rowers, and we pulled the good rowers, the newer rowers. They're fast out of the athlete area just because they've not mm -hmm. had 2 million and – or actually probably more than 2 million meters on them, so they're nice and, like, Jeez. tight, and they're good rowers. And so we're kind of set up, and Gee walks in and goes, I want to do it with you guys. <clears> and I'm like, ah, you know what? I don't matter. Uh, you guys go ahead. So I let them go ahead, sat down for about 20 minutes, got back up, hopped on the rower, went to double under, and I had already been nursing this, like, calf kind of tweak thing. And my calf was just like, hey, dude, we're not doing this That's today. a forfeit, bro. And so <laughs> That's right. a straight forfeit yeah. by the rules. And so, the rules. Uh, yeah, I didn't do it. And so then we went on spring break for two days to Chattanooga. And yesterday um, I came home and I was like, all right, I'm going to do a version of this. I didn't want to deadlift after sitting in the car for a while and just not moving for the last couple of days. So I did bench instead of deadlift. Ooh, I got that. 10 rounds, 305 bench. Dang. So. It was about the same ish stimulus, I think. It was same high weight heart rate. on the bench. One thirty five. Okay. So you could keep moving it the whole time. Probably yeah. <clears throat> maybe one fifty five would have been better, but I think with the the stimulus of what you guys did, I think it was the right stimulus. One thirty five mm -hmm. got where it was like started to slow down a little yeah. bit, but it was about right. Um calf tweaked up about round six and I was like, screw it, just keep going. So <laughs> um but it was all high heart rate, a lot of transitions, but it was kind of fun. Yeah. But that was it was funny because 
<clears throat> me and Ben Smith were talking, and I said, uh, this workout is like a workout if I was going to the lake or going to the zoo or something like that. And Hillary's like, you got 30 minutes. <clears throat> I'd go downstairs, and I'd look around, and I'd be like, you know what? I'm going to row because I can warm up on the row for – I honestly, if I was to do this at the house, like I said, I would have benched or maybe like 115 power clean, you know, something high heart ratey, mm -hmm. but like not heavy. You don't have to warm up for. It. So you went like 300 row, 10 power cleans, and then 50 double unders and just moved for 20 minutes and count the first five minutes as the warm up. But uh, it was a good workout. It was, you know, high heart rate transition. Um, you can't say that it wasn't fitness because it was fitness. And it was a completely different, I, you know, whereas the. Snatch and burpee was fast and kind of high heart rate, six minutes. You know, you can say what you want about it being a hinge and all that type of stuff, but it was a different test in that you went kind of sprinty on the first one, and this one was you just kind of had to hang on. So, I don't know. I liked my version better, though, the bench. And it's kind of – it was like almost <coughs> similar-ish score to probably what I yeah. would have gotten, you yeah. know. I could row a little harder. Um, the bench didn't take the row. Would you row at? The deadlift, like 142, 143. Like, what did you row at? I'm 48. And <laughs> <laughs> but here's the deal. is like everybody thought, oh, the row, the row, the row. That's what I was thinking but before it. Where at, where that looks like it's six seconds. It's not six seconds. It's, let's just say, at half, 250 versus yeah. 300. It's only three seconds. So it's really not that much. And you can make up three seconds on a transition or how fast you move the double unders on the double unders and the deadlift. So, yeah. um yeah, I think it was speed of movement. The row was almost, I don't want to say non-existent, like you still needed to pull. But I saw some people pulling, like, what would you pull, 150, 151, and he was faster yeah, on his transitions. You started, towards yeah. the end, you started, like, slowing down a little bit. You oh, could yeah. tell. And so, <clears throat> like, if you watch Ben, it was like a metronome. It was like he was just moving yeah. on the, like. Well, yeah. you talked about doing, like, a one, I thought a 147, 148 pace before. Yeah, so, well, Henry, so I, yeah. I had the benefit, like, in to see everybody do it. And like everybody's different strategy, Henry uh, Matthews was it Matthews or Sells? I don't know Matthews. He rode a 152 for the whole workout, and he got seven deadlifts on that 11th round. And I was like, well, I think I could at least like I can definitely row his pace, and at that pace I can sprint the deadlift and the double under. Yeah, your dubs are quick, dude. I kept well, yeah, I already have fast double unders, so I kept like the deadlift and the double under speed like 90 percent effort. Like if I was trying to go all out, you know? Yeah. And then, I mean, yeah, luckily I had no, like, mess-ups on the double under with your, like, fire rope. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I get partial credit. He used my rope. Oh, that was you. Okay, yeah. yeah, I remember you saying that was somebody else's. That's cool that you could step in. Was that the first time you ever used that rope? No. No, that, that was, was the third time. Times now, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's Those way, things it's way do better like, than my rope. It, it is almost, like, you can't go slow with that rope. Mine's, like, old and worn out, too. Like, it needs some TLC, but it's still, it's, it's faithful. No, his is like the newer upgrade uh, no. of the Evo, right? Yeah, it was a short shorter handled Evo. Yeah, well, but but what your rope length is perfect for me. Yeah, mine's That's, too it's short. all about rope length. Everybody, yeah. what I what I always tell people is you need it shorter than you think. Um, everybody like likes to have like if Nick Azor, he jumps with like a six six rope. Yeah, and you're just there's so much wasted time because the rope has to go farther. And then it, like, he's been shortening it. On the ground. Yeah, I know. I keep telling him to shorten it every he, he, Yeah, he shortens it, like, a centimeter every time he uses As it. As he should. Yeah. And then eventually you'll get, you know. I remember years ago when we were doing years ago, eons it's ago. 84 yeah, years. Yeah. <laughs> there was a thrust. Remember the thruster double under from a couple years ago in the open? 10 rounds, 9 and 35? Yeah. Yeah. We were doing a ton of um, heavy double unders, the Zeus rope double unders before that. And then those Evos came out, like, that week, and I switched to the Evo. I f basically forgot how to double under with how fast it went. My qu calves blew up, and I don't even, I mean, <laughs> bombed, bombed the workout. I had to redo it on Monday because it was so, the rope was so fast, and I think we were so used to that, like, slower cycle with the Zeus. Um, so <laughs> I, I was telling Ben this uh, story as well, but, like, last year at BCS, they had a double under workout, but you had to, court, you had to, Oh. synchro with your partner and it was me and aj and he was just you know slow just like not even slow but like regular double mm -hmm. unders but with that rope i could not match his pace yeah in the first round i got done and he had like 30 left and they were like no no like you guys got to start over basically <laughs> oh <laughs> and no. we could not court like i couldn't go slow enough and he couldn't go fast enough for us to coordinate it was a nightmare yeah um, we had a match dubs at the games here last year four person 
Four two person. person is doable. I still yes. don't love it. Uh, four person is nearly Jeez, impossible. That was so hard. Um, one set we got just it didn't no no reps counted. And then one yeah. time we got away with murder. Like it it was. How did you guys? <laughs> what did you? Did you pay attention to one person? Yeah, you just had one person kind of doing yeah. their pace. Yeah. Ben, how'd that go for you guys? Why are you so, asking me? So Jess, Jess was wrong on that. Why? She was trying to follow, because I was telling, I forgot who I was saying we need to follow. I think it was Aniston, because her double under rate was like, she jumped the highest. Yeah. So we had to follow her in some way. But Jess was wanting to go off me, but I was going off Aniston. And then it would like screw the whole thing up. Yeah. And then your double unders, you go like four to my one. So it's like. You know what I learned though? I think we should have bully our judge because I went back and I would watch some of their double unders. And did their judge. Oh, you don't bully anybody. Dude, you were you though. Just, you, you, you just, just stopped. No. You put your rope down and he'd nope. be like. No, you just insist. It's Rich Froning. I can't even. You just yeah. insist. Yeah. <laughs> There's been multiple times where That's judges have, have either miscounted or something. And I've been like, hey, no, we're on 50. And they're like, you're right. You're on 50. No, no. Just <laughs> wave your hand. <laughs> We're on 50. <laughs> yeah. uh, That's what happened. I've never, hey, do what? I've, I've just insisted yeah, sure very does. aggressively. Sure I remember that. I got in trouble by Dave one year. We were doing touch and go snatches. It was our 2021 maybe. And the judge said I'd never touch the floor on a, like, 115 snatch. or It was the echo bike snatch Oh, I remember workout. that. Yeah, you were fresh. And I'm just, like, frustrated. arguing with the judge while I'm still doing reps. And Dave's like, you didn't do it. And I was like, I did do it. And we're arguing in the pit back yeah. and forth. <laughs> and then we just agree to disagree. And he walks off and I walk off. So, you know, me and Dave. Speaking of Dave, is he going to be here next week? I don't know. They're pot. I mean, I mean they're be this week, they're right? open. Yeah, doing the open. Oh, yeah, this week. Yeah, I need to. But next week for the I need to show. text him. Did you see I gave him a little shout out from Rock City? No. Anybody see that? It. Nobody saw my story? Mushroom Rock. Mushroom Rock. Oh, yeah, I saw that. Yeah. He reposted it. <laughs> I was, we were walking through there. Have you ever been to Rock City? Have you been there? No. It's kind of cool. I always see the sign when I drive by. Yeah, because there's signs everywhere and birdhouses everywhere. Yes. But uh, it's kind of cool. It's just a rock garden, basically. Wait, where was this at? Giant rocks. Rock City. You'd like it. Your family would like it. You guys like doing it. It's by the aquarium. Yeah. Yeah. You guys would love it. Your girls would love it. I'm big, telling you, Violet. Big rock family. Violet, we did the whole, like, probably hour-long thing through all these rocks, and it's a bunch of, like, you go through Lookout Mountain, which you can see seven states, which is kind of mind-boggling when you get up there because Virginia and North Carolina are back this way, and you can see them. It's bizarre, but anyway. That's a fun fun fact for listeners that yeah. Tennessee, touches, Tennessee touches more states than any other state. And you can see seven states from this rock. But anyway, you walk through this whole thing, and then – it's probably an hour and it's just very gimmicky and like the kids love it and total we're, tourist we're, thing we're like when you're on a road trip to, yeah we're starting to walk out and i'm like hey kids we can go back through you want to go and violet's like yeah let's go and i'm like no we're not going back through so but yeah. so your girls you, would love it so if you find yourself in uh central tennessee use the code froning at uh, c rock at, city at rock city yeah. Yeah. c rock city 15 percent off your uh, your entry code. wouldn't that be subjective how many states you can see based on how good your eyes are <laughs> Touche, but no, they have uh, binoculars. Not they have binocular has, things. Not there. everyone has LASIK, you know. They have binoculars there, like you, those things you put the quarter in, like Home Alone. You can Scott's always looking for a fight. You know what I mean? No, bro. Yeah. I was like, dang. <laughs> did you, did you bring, bring your? Up Scott's gonna try and get his money back. I'd like my ten dollar. Did you bring your fee. indestructible <laughs> binoculars with you? My Sig binoculars, the stabilized with stabilizing binoculars. Yeah. No, I did not. That would have been great. You got I, a set of those? Oh, dude, they're incredible. They are. They're Except also indestructible. I kicked them off the. We were at the cabin in Colorado. We were at Sam's house. Yeah, we were like what second story. And we're just sitting there kind of like glassing. We were at his house. We weren't hunting, but we were kind of glassing because we saw some elk down in the river bottom. And uh, I sit back on like his deck uh, deck chair, and I went to put my feet up on the thing, kicked them right off. Oh, no. And I mean, they fall and like make the worst sound ever. They got to be broke, right? Good as gold? Good as gold. Right what, what brand are they? Sig. Sig. You ever six, seen this? Though? You know, like when you're like scanning with binoculars and like everything's all blurry and whatnot, it like it auto stabilizes. It's kind of weird. Oh, at so first. Uh, it's like it's almost like it does this weird thing, but it's they're incredible. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, they're they're very nice. But yeah, they're almost nearly indestructible. So what could happen if you committed one year to better nutrition? The RP Diet app provides a virtual nutrition coach and a year of nutrition guidance for less than eight dollars a month. Take the guesswork out of your nutrition. Head over to rpstrength.com and use the code Froning for a year of the RP Diet app for only eighty nine ninety nine. 
Recover faster, breathe easier, and increase your endurance with Airwave's scientifically proven performance mouthpiece. If high-intensity or interval-style training is your sport, try their patented endurance mouthpiece. I opted for the Mayhem 2-pack with one of each. For podcast listeners only, save 15% of your purchase at airwave.com forward slash froning. That's airwave.com forward slash froning. Who is Seth Stovall? Like, who is Seth? Who Tell is us who guy? is Seth Stovall. <laughs> who is this guy? You don't live in a van anymore. I don't live in a van. No, I was living in mine for close to a year. Living in a van down by the river. Yeah. And you know uh, that video? You seen that video? Yeah, no, but I've heard that oh, so many times. <laughs> Holy crap. So many times. We gotta Every watch, time we gotta I tell it. people I Matt was living Foley, in a van. Man, you gotta, you, that's what you need to like. That's who you need your persona to be. Yeah. Like Matt Foley. Matt Foley? Yeah. He's, he's a little, I'll send it to you. Yeah, you'd have to. It's Chris, a, we'll watch it as soon as You'd have to put on a fat suit. <laughs> it's Chris Farley. Yeah. It's like one of the best Saturday Night Live skits of all time. Do you know who Chris Farley is? Oh no! Oh my goodness! You are twenty-two, so there is no. Uh uh-uh. uh. Oh dude, <laughs> oh, no. is there is there like is there a present day? There was John Candy was kind of that. Yeah. Ish. Uh, Kevin and then James. There was, like if you look at yeah, if you watch Grown Ups, the Grown Ups movies. Oh, Kevin James. You know how yeah. they're all kind of like yeah, he's all kinda, old SNL guys. I feel like Kevin James was like the add-on that would have been Chris Farley. Yeah, fair. And I like Kevin James, but he's not Chris Farley. You know. Yeah. So Chris Farley, like rest in peace, was. Uh, one of the Tommy Boy? In the movie grown up Tommy Boy. No, he should have been. Yeah, you seen Tommy Boy? Would have been if he Black was still sheep? alive. Oh, oh my god! Dang, homie, you're missing out. <laughs> you are missing out. <laughs> All right, podcast. And I like over. to talk to your parents. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. Um, I don't know. Didn't you say you watched a bunch of those and your kids didn't like them though? No, they like them. They love oh, okay. them and they love grown ups. Okay. Um, and by the way, just to clear the record, like I didn't say that I don't like. Deadpool. I believe you did. A lot of people I were angry about that podcast. I did not say that. Oh. I, it's not my favorite Marvel. It's not my. It's not my favorite superhero movie. That's what I'm saying. And I stand by that. He's an anti-hero, though, right? Sure. Technically, but regardless, like if you put it in that same genre, like it's just not my favorite one. <laughs> Why? All right. What's that? Why? I mean, it's a great question. It's like Elf Brats. I'm curious. He just doesn't like Elf Brats. <laughs> oh, okay, you know? here we go. Ben doesn't same like thing. Brats. You don't like oh brats. That's my aunt's called brats. Oh, brats. Dude, brats. I don't like elk brats, and I got roasted for it. I'm like, I just don't like it. I don't know. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's each their own. You know, it's fair. Yeah, it's fair. Like you're gonna, but you're gonna avoid them if like that's all there is to eat at a party. Yeah, because I did in, in Colorado. He had you, elk you just burger, the bun? or he had elk brat, and I was like, yeah, yeah but there was, cho- there was a choice burger. there. Yeah. yeah. They're incredible. Elk brats are incredible. Sorry, I mean change the subject. You can go back. No, I appreciate it. Thank you for bailing me out. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Seth. <coughs> Who am I? I hey, I will I will preface this. Nothing wrong with this. Well, there is something wrong with this. Uh, a lot, of, yeah, a lot yeah. of athletes come here <laughs> and think, "Oh, I'm going to the CrossFit Games." Oh, you know, like all this, whatever. Seth is the first person to ever walk up to me and say, "Hey, should I be doing this?" <laughs> 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 and is like, like he's 20 years old at the time. This is like two years ago, right? Yeah, and yeah, he's yeah. like, you know. Am I wasting my time doing this? And I'm like, no, man, you're 20. Like, you of all people, there's some people that have hung on a little too long. I'm, Seth, I, I was genuinely, I could get behind this dude because he was actually worried about the future and, like, should I waste my time? Granted, you'd, like, you, you'd, I'd seen continual improvement with Seth. Mm-hmm. So I was all for, hey, stick it out. You're going to be fine. But he was, I, I respected that he was the first person to not, like, yeah. Come up and think, oh, I'm going to the CrossFit Games. I'm going to win the CrossFit Games. I moved here, and that's my only thing. He was actually worried about his future and, like, questioning should he be, you know, <laughs> doing – not doing something else, but, like, yeah. a backup plan. I was like, Seth, you got three years before you need to, like, worry about that. So well, yeah, I will that preface was... that by saying Seth is one of the first people to ever actually Have worry about humility. His, yeah, exactly. Showed, so up, it was, showed up from a place of humility. Well, yeah, I, I always knew – or I always just had my head coming out here, like, it. I really Wait, go ahead and back it up. Where are you from? California. Um, no shit. <laughs> <laughs> you don't say. <laughs> yeah, no, we, got, we, no. got, we got some shared history. He's from like Inland Empire, Temecula area, yeah, right? Temecula. That's like where Paul and Jordan Paul live. Paul and Jordan from, yeah. Um, Did what's what was their gym? Overload, CrossFit Overload. One of the first videos yeah, I watched yeah. was CrossFit Overload, the baseball one. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was one of the, because I was a baseball guy, so yes. I loved that video, uh, that fun, workout dude. and all that stuff. So yeah. did you ever go there? Yeah, well, so I was at CrossFit Murrieta for like four years, and then I went over to Overload for, I mean, it was just like maybe a few months, yeah. not even. Um, and then I was trying to clean their gym because I couldn't afford a membership, but 
Somehow, I, I don't even remember it in the track record now. with you for that, huh? Yeah, no, <laughs> people don't like Nas. <laughs> no, they're they're cool over there. I mean, I know Devin. Devin works out at Cross yeah. May or CrossFit Overload. She worked out there for I don't know how many years, and now she's at Invictus. Yeah, Devin Kim from Invictus. Yeah, um, and I worked with her folks at at um at CrossFit HQ. Yeah, and uh, so yeah, we saw Devin. Look, we watched Devin grow up, which is funny. Really cool. I understand you guys are the same. She was one who originally got me into CrossFit from. Uh, watching her on like the teenage division yeah but i didn't really get competitive with it until i mean i moved out here yeah like i really just didn't care <laughs> i i mean i cared but so what's your sport background what well so in high school all i did like i would just surf and then me and my buddy oh, would ride dirt bikes <laughs> and then uh here <laughs> and really just i mean that was pretty much it i mean back in middle school all the way to first grade it was uh, football basketball soccer Everything you can imagine. MVP of my middle school, Benny V. Prep. Nice. nice. Which sport? <laughs> uh, all of them. All of them. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which one? Yes. I don't remember. It's just, I think it, I, it's like got my name on a plaque. You said like MVP. So <laughs> just the yeah. MVP of the did school. Did your parents make that for you? Or did you no, no. Okay. My grandma was in the school, though, so maybe yeah. maybe she had something to do side, with it. Side, Lakeland's uh, City League Championship, the sponsor, got them rings. Nice. Yeah. That's a cool thing. I wish we'd nice. got rings for the cross. Know. It's games. a real uh, softball thing. Like all the oh, softball really? kids come back with these. Are just Amazon, but Lakeland freaking yeah. loves it. Oh, they're I'm dope. like heck yeah. I'm like yeah. Lake. You want to put those on? Like I've got the only things, only trophies or whatever memorabilia like that that's hanging on my wall is all my baseball, like high school baseball stuff. I was MVP too, um, and uh, flag football, like college stuff. Yeah. None of my medals or anything are hanging. I was like, Lake, you want to put any of your, your plaques by mine? And she's like, no, I want them in my room. I was like, all right. Damn I like right. that. I'm for that. So. <laughs> all, right. all right. So you're there. <laughs> yeah. One day you're just like, all right, I'm moving to Cookville in a van. Yeah. Yeah. I, I honestly What'd don't remember. What parents say? I just, I, I got to know what parents say when Dude, I don't, do this. I don't really know. Honestly, I don't fully remember. Only what do your parents do? My dad. Oh, man, they're going to hate me for this because I don't huh? really know. <laughs> <laughs> hell yeah i know my mom she does I, I know my mom does uh i think she does like billing for vis- physical therapy and my dad does something with fire alarms it's all it's all I it may know. actually it kind of warms my heart because like it, it's i think that still well actually they just turned a corner for the longest time like even when we moved here my kids thought that i competed in crossfit <laughs> yeah was like you yeah yeah kids that's, my that's kids right. don't that's even right. know what i do i don't yeah, think right. they're just like ah, yeah. he works out trice does trice will remind me all the time my dad's the boss oh yeah yeah yeah, right. yeah. he yeah. just knows you're the boss yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> my lakeland dad's the boss just, lakeland just knows we own crossfit mayhem that's yeah, it yeah that's it she uses that against yeah. me yeah but yeah i uh, there was one point in high school i remember i just told him i was gonna go on the other side of the world and do some stuff with some friends and they're just like all right and then with the van thing, I was like, you know, I want to build out this van and go out to Tennessee. Because I, I remember I was deciding I was going to go to Invictus or I was going to come to Mayhem. But Good choice. I I'm started. Yeah. I, love C- <laughs> I love CJ and Invictus. Yeah, I um, Invictus was closer to the water and I would always get distracted and I'd skip training and then I would go surf with like my buddy Josh. Like yeah. that, and then that's what we would do. And I was like, Mayhem ain't near anything. So <laughs> it is surprisingly, it is. We got lakes, it's different kind of water. I though. came out here. We need to take the, the waves are a little smaller. Year. We should yeah, no, for sure. Um, I will say with surfing, but hold on, this isn't like a van, like a Mercedes high top bubble. Nah, van. This it's is like even a 1980, better. it's a 1988 Chevy G30. Yeah, that's right. Like creeper van, like yeah. somebody's <laughs> driving good. around with some candy. But that's like, oh man, it says free candy on the side. But I isn't got, that is like the standard for a build out, right? Like that model. Yeah, it's like a very base and en- base model yeah. entry. Yeah, base. Yeah, yeah. It's got the entry door, the sliding door, and man, it's I like remember. Like the Ninja Turtle. Van. If you're buying a Sprinter van, like it's usually it comes as is, right? Like you don't no, do you a lot can of build conversions. Those out. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you can build those out. It's yeah. like the Ninja Turtle van is what I look like. If it was green and some yellow on it, it so would be true. the Ninja Turtle van <laughs> with yeah, a satellite dude, dish nice. on top. I yeah, dude. I remember I was I was sleeping in Walmart. And Did you watch Ninja Turtles? Do you know what that is? I know what that okay. is. Okay. <laughs> well, These two not, didn't know. Really? Even though there's a new, there's like new versions. We were we were elk hunting, and oh my. <laughs> we're what day three or four in and we're delirious at this time and it's like lunch and i'm trying to exp- i you're I, eating I your, your banana peanut butter burritos when you turtles. when you try to explain ninja turtles it sounds crazy it's cra- it is He's, crazy but it, you don't think it's crazy do you not know what it is like at all i still don't i still don't it, i know like how good was that explanation though it's no it more. A fun, we should have videoed that because that was pretty it's no more or less crazy than any superhero genesis uh, story. it really is if you really bit by an electro a radioactive spider 
or what? Like, yeah. You said it's yeah. like guy that goes into sewers pets, and, and got, Hamato Yoshi. <laughs> yeah, the, so Hiroko goes, Saki. So it's just man. Oh, you you, name, you gave him Yoshi. the whole thing. I gave him the whole thing. We're on the side of this hill, and I'm trying to like explain the whole rat, how the rats connected, how Hamato, like the old school, like. Mm -hmm. how they crawled in ooze mm -hmm. and they're like wait what and so it was so funny i don't like, remember where the ooze came from uh tgri okay <laughs> i'm out <laughs> see like it was literally <laughs> sorry what we this is what happens we start derailing. i don't know how you don't know who they are i mean i feel like Dude, I, sp I spent my are. time and effort into other things like spongebob uh oh, yeah, or SpongeBob. some other good ones some nickelodeon stuff yeah. you know yeah, I mean, it. I just, when it you just really wasn't start in my, to try to, like, me and Bird are trying to bounce back and forth, it reminded me of Ant-Man. Yeah. You know, when the guy starts taking over the story and his voice are over the other people's voice and he's, like, spitballing. That's what it felt like. You remember those cut scenes in Ant-Man? That's what that felt like. And I would just, like, forget something and I'd come back, you know? Yeah, like, yeah. it was not. Yeah. It, it wasn't was, elegant. It was. We can film it next time, next year, when you retell it because I don't remember any of it. Yeah, okay, good. I just remember there was like a large nuclear rat, but he was on, smart. Fell on was, deaf ears. Yeah, that's Splinter. He was not a, actually. Sp we're gonna totally derail if I bring this up. But Ben, Ben has some splinters at his house. Oh yeah, you just <laughs> killed a rat. He's got another one. Another one. Yeah, but he doesn't another. like he. No, he didn't kill the rat. He let it be free in the field. No, he killed it. No, he, he let it die. Which is torturously. Worse. Instead of finishing it off, he just threw it out in the field. There's two paths <laughs> you can go down here. One, I could have left him in the trap. He could have died in the trap in my house looking at a drywall. Or I could take him to that beautiful place, let him free, and then he dies to a beautiful morning sunrise <laughs> on a nice spring day. Oh, dude. Did walk-ins, there was a rat in mayhem like two years ago. Dropped a kettlebell on it. <laughs> That's one way to do it also. That's one way to kill. Yeah. A little more, little more cleanup Ooh, involved. God, I almost threw up. We, we keep bad. derailing. We got yeah, go to go, go back, back two sorry. steps here. Should so Seth is in California. Sorry, oh, everybody. Right. I know last time we got in a lot of trouble for how much we bounced around. Seth is yeah. in California. He's yeah. at a as a crossroads, Mayhem or Invictus. That's yeah. Where, is that, that's where we're at? Yeah, I chose Mayhem, All right. basically. And uh, drove out here. Yeah, chose I Mayhem. Drove out here. Not for the greatness of Mayhem, but so that he wouldn't be distracted by surfing. Too sure. yeah. on. Yeah. yeah. And... Um, I told my parents, yeah, when I told my parents, they just was like, all right. And my dad, he liked helping build the van and stuff. And same with our neighbor, Travis. Plus, you're the MVP of your school. Like, what are they going to say? I know. You know what I mean? I'm, it's like, yeah. I've made good decisions I do what up I want. to this point. I know. Yeah. I have a tattoo of it. <laughs> no, I don't. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> yeah, no, I moved out here. But I always had, you know, I knew, I, was, I always told myself, if I wasn't getting better in any way, shape, or form in like two years, I'm not going to keep going. Uh, and it still goes now, you know. If I don't. You know, for the next three years, if I don't get any better, you know, the three years is pretty far. But Seth, I don't up get until better. probably 2020, I thought I was going back to the fire department every year. So if that <laughs> makes you feel any better. Okay. All right. Well, yeah. right. I guess well, and, and even after year years, year. like I'd won the CrossFit <laughs> Games four times as yeah. an individual. I was like, oh, well, if this runs out and the money runs out. I guess I'll go back to the fire department. That's kind of my mindset in a way, you know. Yeah, it's good. It's a good mindset. If I don't, if I don't, yeah, if I don't get better, then. My mom is always telling me to come back home. Come on. Come on, <laughs> Sethi. She call you Sethi? <sighs> yeah. 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 <laughs> My mom calls me Richie, too, so it's all right. She calls me, like, baby Sethi. She calls oh, me everything. I don't, want, I don't want to spill yes. anything. <laughs> yes, that one's sticking. All right, so you move out here. Yeah. Summer, was it? Yeah, yeah dude, weren't you oh miserable gosh. in the band? It was summer. <laughs> that's, that's the best story, I like, when I think about Seth living in that band. Dude. What year was that? Was that 2020? No, I, it was 2021, actually. Oh, okay. I built it in 2020 because I had nothing else to do. I got fired. Well, I didn't get fired. Our, our, my job, the place shut down. So COVID, California. Yeah. yeah. And then, actually, I got into a phase where I was skydiving a lot. I would skydive and surf in the same day. <laughs> Hell, yeah. So, and then, after, yeah, so when I was out here, now. I remember I pulled up in my van and it was a Sunday, and I saw Levi, and then he gave me Josh's email, and Josh replied to my email. And You uh, hadn't made, back then, there would have been, you hadn't made a sanction or anything at this point? No, I, I just remember even. Jake being like, hey, there's this guy from California. He lives in a van. Yeah. He moved here to make the CrossFit Games, and I'm like, oh, another one. Here we go. No, I know yeah. he didn't make anything <laughs> because. <sighs> didn't we have him the test the 50 burpee <clears throat> something for yeah, some of the for athletes? I don't know. For, uh, but no, 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 last chance. I think it was last chance. 100 they're like, burpees. They're like, yeah, he's really good at burpees. I'm like, okay, cool. Yeah, that doesn't mean anything. My <laughs> first encounter with Seth 
he didn't know it, but I was judging him. Oh, no, and no, no. <laughs> he, was, he was doing a workout with Lee. You remember Lee? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He works on, like, the oil fields or whatever now. Yeah, oil race. And he, yeah. He, so they're doing a deadlift and, like, double under rowing or something. And I'm, I'm watching them. Was it? And Seth did not stand up or even get remotely close to standing up one like Corbin rep. Like yeah, Corbin? it was kind of yeah. It was honestly it was it was worse than that. Did you see Corbin posted that video by the way? Yeah, it was worse. No, than and he didn't say anything about the no reps. He just put it out there. No, he did. If he you did, did my voice in the background. Oh, he said, I didn't hey Corbin, hear it. why don't you stand up one of those reps? Oh yeah. And he puts it on the subtitles on there. <laughs> yeah, Corbin was twelve minutes in. He's like, what round am I on? <laughs> So you're judging but, Seth. But he didn't stand up one rep, and so yeah. I'm like, there, there's yeah, no hope for this guy. Done. Yeah. And then, yeah, and then Ben out. had me the nickname of No Rep yeah, Seth. To piggyback oh, off I that. I didn't find out about <laughs> until <laughs> maybe two years later. No, it was this, like last year. So the storyline yeah. keeps going. So I, Scott comes to our office. He's like, man, there's this guy out there. He just did this workout with Lee. He didn't stand up one deadlift. And I was like, I was like, who? He's like, this Seth guy. He's like, oh, No Rep Seth. <laughs> no <laughs> Rep and I, and we, I called him No and I just referred to him as No Rep Seth for a while without telling him. And then he walks to our office one day, and he's like, hey, I heard a rumor. And I was like, what's up? I feel like he walks into your office a lot and says, I heard a rumor, which yeah. I, have, I value. Like, Seth will come to you. If he hears something, he's like, oh, I will. I he, like it. He said, yeah, someone, someone, as in Bennett, told me that, <laughs> Bennett, um, <laughs> that you referred to me as No Rep Seth. And I was like... Well, yes, that's true. <laughs> and, <laughs> yes, that's true. And uh, so, yeah, that was that was that. Happened. How many times has Seth come in your office and been like, "Are you saying talking shit about me?" Uh, I think three times, three or four times. Yeah, I think maybe. Yeah, something like that. Um, but yeah, and that was yeah. I guess that was twenty twenty one. Wow, time flies. Yeah, and I've got. Yeah, I, was um, here. I remember. Yeah, the one of the first times I came in, I had seen. Oh, man, dude, it was probably the most intimidating thing ever, like a new person coming in across the mayhem. I saw Rich and a couple people on the team at whatever the 2021 year was. I don't know who's on the team. Yeah, yeah they, I, I saw all of them, and I saw Haley <coughs> and a couple other people, and they were all doing just a barbell cycling, some some kind of workout, and just – Smashing like two twenty five, it looked. It just looked super cool to me. Yeah, you could. I saw all of them, and I, I just walked into the gym, and it was the most intimidating thing in the world. And then, um, Luckily I don't know. I don't remember what happened after that. Jake, Jake, that, that's <laughs> like that's like the one picture that I have in my mind when I first came. Jake here, basically saved that. your life there. Like he kept bringing you around because I was like, this guy Lockhart. Yeah, yeah. He's like, you got this Seth kid, this Seth kid, and I'm like. Got long hair. I don't like him. I remember you sent me a, you sent me a picture of him at the slice. You said, "Oh, your buddy's here." <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> yeah, because Ben wait, would always wait, wait, talk wait. about him. Uh, everybody would kind of talk about him. But at this point, I don't think you've ever even like yeah. come up. And I'm like, I may have talked to you in passing or anything, but yeah. I don't want to like bug people. And there's so many new people all the time. And I'm like, I don't know if this person's here to stay. I don't know if this person's leaving. You know, whatever. And then I think. I'd, and I'd always give you, I think at this point is when I started giving you shit about like never jumping into the group of workouts. I'm like, Seth, yeah. come over here. You're like, well, I got my program that I got to do that Jake gave me. And I'm like, yeah. ah. And if you tell me that one time, you're, I'm done with you. Yeah. You know, like, yeah. I invite you to work out and you turn me down, you're yeah. done. Well, that's a little early. He didn't have Foster. He didn't have Foster. No, yet at Lockhart. That time. Lockhart. He oh, was Lockhart. a Lockhart boy oh, at this okay. time, you know, like. Yeah. Wrong Jake. Yeah. Uh, it's pre team. It yeah. was pre team. And then, yeah. and then. <clears throat> The one year he comes up when you guys were going to make the team and he comes up to me and he says, all right, what should I do? And I think I told basically the synopsis of the discussion was, all right, here's the deal. If you go individual and you don't make it, I probably won't have much time for you. Because at this point, I'm hyper focused on competing and winning yeah, the CrossFit Games, right? Yeah. I said, you guys compete, you make it to semifinals. It gets to extend your season. You make semifinals semifinals to the games because at this point i don't like you were on the cusp of making semifinals but you're like one yeah. of like the i think i actually ended up qualifying that year yeah i think so yeah. <laughs> and i was like if you guys make the games you get way more training and you get to like you'll be able to train with us and i'll put way more i'll be able to put way more time into you guys if you're on a team because mm -hmm. you're training with us that was the year we had three teams at the games mm -hmm. and seth was like all right i'll go team so i respected that you know yeah that was dope i don't remember who started that conversation it may, may have been you, honestly. Yeah, me and Jake Lockhart talked about it. Yeah. 
But Jake, yeah, Lockhart was the one. I was always going up to him when I first came here and asking him every question in the book of, you know, just in the very beginning, the typical questions like, what do you think my numbers could be by this, this, and this? And then he gave me numbers, and then <coughs> I, I, I mean, I exceeded those by. <laughs> yeah, you couldn't even clean I 275. I remember this. He couldn't clean 275, and he went and did beach brawl. And he hit a double power at 275 or something. Oh, yeah, that's when you guys started the room where he was it, taking steroids. Yes, yes. Yeah. And I was like, <laughs> oh, man. And me and Scott were like, something's fishy. <laughs> oh, this, nice. guy, this, this guy, this guy put jacked. on, this guy put 30 pounds on his clean in a month. We're like, I don't know about it. You forget it, puberty but, in 19, he was but, 20 uh, years old at the time. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. But he comes to our office one day and I'm like, I'm like, I, got, I guess I gotta ask you, are you doing steroids? <laughs> and he goes, he goes, what? He's like, dude. Why does everybody say this about me? <laughs> Dude, <laughs> everyone like, says it like, like I don't say a single thing in the gym. And then, all, I mean, I get it. I put like 70 pounds in my snatch in but a year. But also, you were 19 to 22 now, right? Yeah. Like this, I also, this time. yeah, I also, I mean, I never really did any kind of, sh- I did, you did strength was, work. Before. All you did was surf and skydive. So, but yeah. then he showed, he's like, he's like, dude, he pulls up a picture of himself from like 12, which, you know, at this time is like two years ago. Yeah. And he, he's like got six pack abs and he's got like, bicep veins i'm yeah. like oh okay all right that oh, makes wow. sense so yeah, steroids help with surfing also yeah basically. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um and skydiving hey, I, hey. My, my first exposure was uh i was that's when i was like trying to mess with the knees over toes stuff and he yes. was you were like a ninja with it and dude so he I'm came over to me you. i was doing the backward sled thing and he was like you know knees over toes and i was like ah. i think i saw an instagram clip or something of backward sled dragging He's like, oh, you got to do this, 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 this. And that's when I got like, I got deep into it. Yeah. So it was the opposite. Seth, Seth was my sensei. I'm telling you. <laughs> I brought it in Tell here. I more. promise. Splinter. You but brought knees over toes? I, I brought I brought it in and met him. He did. I did. I think so. I think. Yeah. He's also Somebody else told me about 19. it. All right. You can kind of say you were inspired by me. <laughs> <laughs> MVP. 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 That's his new. Benny old Pratt, Sethy, the MVP. Okay. All right. So now with the, with the runway, and it's funny to hear Rich say like, okay, even after individual championships, he's thinking about going back to the fire department. Yeah, but yeah. now you've been on a team, you're yeah. having a lot of success. Mm-hmm. Um, how, I mean, how do you grade your progress? You happy with it? Like, was it what yeah, you expected? Yeah, no, I'm not, like, I'm definitely stoked with it. Like, you know, it's, it's all been a upward trajectory or trajectory. Uh, I'm just going to, uh, I'm just going to keep, keep riding it and see how it goes. Ride you the know, wave, I, as they I, say. I expect, <laughs> I expect it Speaking to, of language. you know, there's going to be bumps in the road. There already has been, but. You know, as long as I keep making progression, I, I and if, if I know I'm getting better in my own way, PRing in whatever way it is. Yeah, but I mean, like, I and you've been around these dudes. Now you've been to the games. Um, on and also, team. too, I don't want to keep. You know, I'd like to get to the point where I'm not working until ten thirty every single night. I'm like twelve hour days of just doing stuff. Yeah, you know, have yeah. like thirty minutes to myself to think. Wait, sorry, what's keeping you busy till ten thirty at night? I'm working here in town working on right. Willow. Okay, what do you do? Yeah. Should I so shout out the place? So, so your parents oh, know. Yeah, yeah, sure. You want. It's a tanning salon. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> and for all you out there, I don't actually tan. I'm not against it, but I just don't because I don't care for it. <laughs> just, a, so just a good many, job. So many people ask hey, me that. We got that in common. I worked at a tanning salon. I was going to say, pretty I sure that I had a family friend that owned one. So. Did you really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wash yeah. them or wipe down tanning beds. Yep. Yeah, I worked at the salon. So and I actually, actually, I was telling him, I live at that apartment complex that he managed. Oh, yeah. Yep, my yeah, w- me and my wife, yeah. Yeah. Me and Hill. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, yeah, anyways, I forgot what the question was. So, like, you're working until 1030 at night, but you're working. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? You're, like, checking people Who's into a tanning man? bed, you know? Yeah, and then, you, yeah. yeah, you clean the bed. And you're getting in a busy season, too, so I'm, like, exhausted all night. Yeah. <clears throat> the more the more that sun comes out, the more people actually end up coming in, which is That's weird. odd to me. Bizarre. That's yeah. weird. Yeah, in winter, you'd think more people would come in, but they don't. Dude, I need to. I don't know if it's, I don't know if it cures the problem. But is it like cure seasonal effective? Tennessee is the first place I've lived where like I'll get down in the wintertime. Really? Oh, dude, I need some vitamin D. Like Tennessee's not like if you go north, like <laughs> yeah, Ohio try Michigan, and Michigan for sure. Like for people sure. legit, you're depressed. It is gray. You don't see the sun Five from months. November until May. Yeah, all you see are clouds and dead plants. <laughs> <laughs> That's where we're in Michigan, you mean? Yes. Man, that And Ohio's worse because you have the added, like, bonus of having to live in Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> Scott loves Ohio. Um, okay, cool. But what about, okay, so what about um, your level of, like, um, so back then you were like, Rich, am I wasting my time? You think you're wasting your time? You think you got the potential? And what do you, what, like, where do you think you could get to? Realistically, you well, can be modest, but, like. <clears throat> honestly, real. I mean, right now, I, I still don't know if I'm wasting my time. 
You're not wasting your time. I'm, I, I know I'm getting better for sure. I mean, if I'm, yeah, I, I know I'm getting better with the tests that I'm doing, you know, testing after the end of a cycle or something like that, see if I'm actually getting better. Um, but if I'm still. Weight, weightlifting cycle. Just, yeah. Back, just, yeah. Bring, just right. bring it full circle. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, I thought that too. <laughs> I was like, eh? no. But yeah, I mean, I also see myself, you know, I'd like to get to the point where I just train full time and that's, that's what I can do. Yeah. I definitely have to bite my tongue a lot of the times just because. It, I think it's just jealousy in a way when I'm, you know, when I'm done with training at the end of the day, it's also my day is still getting started because I have to go to work. Yeah. I have to work late at night. And the other cool people, thing is they're going home and they're sleeping. That's the I'm old like, school way, though. You know what I mean? It is. Like you're feeling a little bit yeah. of the old school. Journeyman. You're a yeah. journeyman at yeah. this yeah, point. Yeah, I know. Um, but, yeah, when I, I mean, going back to when I first got out here, I didn't have to do that because I saved up enough money, but then all the money ran out. So <laughs> then I got a job. And thankfully, Janice, Janice hooked me up, and she knows Janice every mother. every person in Cookville. She really does, like hundred percent. I mean, it's it's unbelievable. I'm not Rich Froning CrossFit Games champion. I'm Rich Froning Janice's son. Janice's yeah, you're Janice's son, son. which I it's, like. I'd prefer that. It is crazy, but yeah, I mean, I, I I mean, I can't give you a a uh, exact like. Yes, I'm going to do this, this, and this. But you feel like you belong. You're not afraid to. Buy I feel like function. I do. Yeah, yeah. You, you know, feel like we're rubbing shoulders with these guys in the gym every day, and it's not yeah. like you're a chump. Yeah, I, yeah. I'm like, I mean, I don't got a huge ego. I feel like I don't. I don't think you have to have a huge ego, but I think like he's you know, good. he's getting better. Yeah. He's fit. He's a good dude to hang around, which I like. He was like one event from in semis last year from being right on the cusp too. So. Oh yeah. Oh we yeah. Talking about that judge. Which event was that? The. Oh, the rope legless. climb one. Yeah. yeah, that legless one. And we had video that we I had video that did do what or were, that I did yeah. Yeah. hit the standard and. They said they had video too, but they didn't want to show us. Imagine that. Yeah. This is going to sound very like. Uh, that was at the place where I got kicked out. Yeah. Yeah. This is going to sound very David Goggins or something. But oh do no. you think, do you think Seth's, um, the fact that he has to work, because Rose, like, that's the old school way, you know, like, he doesn't want to have to do that, but he has to do it. Well, Seth knows. I feel like that that's added motivation to be like, hey, I need to get better so I don't have to do this. Yes. And Seth knows that it could be worse. You oh, know, for like sure. You could be Way working worse. a real job. You know, like, and here's the deal is training for a living is different from working out for a living, if that makes sense. Yeah. So training for a living is a job, yeah. but it's also a pretty damn good job. Yeah. Where you could be training for a living and have to have another job to supplement what you're doing. Or you could just have another job. I worked in a factory for six months, and it gave me perspective that mm -hmm. I don't ever want to do that again. So I'm going to do anything I can to not have to do that again. And then, you know, I, when I was a firefighter, I worked as a firefighter, which is an incredible job. I loved it. doesn't pay in Cookville. And at the time, it's gotten better, but doesn't pay really well. So you had to have another job or two other jobs. So I was an exterminator, uh, which is a really crappy job. And I washed and waxed houseboats, which is another pretty crappy job so oh that's funny i actually tried getting a job like that really yeah it sounds awesome because you're at the lake every day yeah but everybody else is going out you to must be fun. getting or you're baked just though by baked, the sun yeah baked. so I've, i'm pretty sure i either i've got cancer from <laughs> breathing in all the chemi <laughs> burning chemicals from the fire department crawling around in all the bug chemicals maybe this is what made me superhuman for a little while you know like crawling around in the you know spray and then skin cancer from so it's the, just it's yeah. gonna happen so yeah. the, um, the triumvirate. Yep. Yeah. So some way, some form. Yep. Did you exterminate in the same way as, as Ben? Just trap him and throw him in the field? Is that the deal? No. 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 You were a We killer. didn't do a ton of like uh, rodents. Rodents. It was mostly like bugs. Yeah. But you talk about courage when you're in a crawl space. Oh, bro. And the trunk, the duct work is hanging and it's on, on the ground <sighs> and you have to go under that and you don't oh. know what's on the other side. Uh uh. I just saw there's a there's a, I saw a trailer coming. There's like a new version of Arachnophobia. Did you ever watch that mm -hmm. back in the day? Nope. Oh, it was one of the worst horror movies because it was like if you're afraid of spiders, it was awful. Uh, new new one of those coming out, so it might bring up some old fears. See, I'm not I I mean obviously I crawled around in crawl spaces, so I wasn't afraid of that, <clears throat> and I'm not claustrophobic. I don't like when my arms are stuck by my side and I can't move. So what I would do when we would do the fire department maze trailer because this is similar to the ductwork thing, I would put I would take one glove off. So I could just feel some air because you're like full suit, breathing air. You can't feel anything outside. So it gets a little freaky and you're in a pitch black. And we had to go through like a, I want to say a 16 inch tube. It was awful. Oh, but So I would put one arm down, one arm up. 
and get through it, so I was fine. But you talk about going under that duct work, and you're just like, I don't know what's on the other side. It was, yeah. yeah. It was what, what's worse, going under the duct work or in the middle of the night with barely any light, looking for a dead elk, and you hear rustling in the woods and it could hey be bear. A, it could be a <laughs> bear. Scott just run you over because he jumps before that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's worse. <sighs> yeah, that. The reason I started running is because here's the thing. You don't need to outrun the bear. You just need to outrun the people that are with you. And we had and we had Matt. Outrun the slowest yeah. person. Yeah. Yeah, we had Matt. Did you see the um mountain lion? The mountain lion that I sent yeah. that article? Yeah. Mountain lion attacked two mountain lions. Attacked a attacked a biker. A biker. Yeah latched onto the back of her and then the ladies that were with her basically just started beating it with rocks and trapped it underneath a bicycle and stood on top of the bike until the authorities got there and there was two of them it's on the meat eater it was it was sketch which <clears throat> we probably said this on a podcast before but we are 99 percent sure we got stalked by a mountain lion a couple of years ago so 100 percent, i would say that's terrifying those those they're killers Killers. They're killers. Like a bear sucks. Oh, yeah. But a mountain lion? Yeah. Yeah. Did you see the video? Yeah, I'm sure. You saw the video of the dude who, like, got chased by one. Oh, yeah, where he's just sitting, He's yeah, got yeah, meat yeah. on his back. He's, he's like, like, back. Yes. And he doesn't shoot it. Oh, he no. He shoots at it to scare it off. Right. Mm -mm. Nah, man. It's Have like, you seen the one where the grizzly bear runs at the guy and he's like, hey, hey, hey. And it, it's running at him and it, like, last second peels off. Yeah. <laughs> there, somebody he's made a, a parody of it and they're like, it, they turn around. It turns around. And got <laughs> shit out coming out of their pants. Oh, no. It's so good. <laughs> They're like, yeah, yeah, we scared that thing off. And they turn around and there's just like just chocolate spot. on their on their pants or white pants. <sighs> so yeah. Well, what do you games this year? That's your goal is to get to the games. Yeah, I think it'd be cool to qualify. It'd be you pretty know, cool. Pretty we'll neat. Yeah, I think that would uh, kind of be my, be coming you know coming out here. They'd be like, all right, <laughs> now getting somewhere. Now I can go home. We're getting no, yeah. <laughs> no, no. We're just, home, getting, mommy. just getting started. Yeah, no, uh, yeah, that'd be cool. But come, I mean, coming out here too, uh, a lot of people, I feel like they would think, you know, obviously look up to Rich for sure from what he's done. But you know, when I was in the gym, it's like I know I was obviously even now I'm not even near the the fitness level Rich is. It's always like I would strive to shoot for someone else. So at the gym when I first got here, it was it's like, like a little stepping stones. That yeah, was yeah, yeah. I Start, started with me. Ben. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Like, thanks, man. Just start to Ben. <laughs> it all ben. You pass ben. small. It all started in like <laughs> CrossFit Marietta. You know, I would look up to one guy who's really good, and I, I just wanted to get better than him. And then when I came out here, I learned how fit Bet fit Ben was. And then actually, I was trying to chase Ben for quite some time. And when we, by the time we were on the team, I was uh, I was still trying to chase Ben in a lot of things, and he was still smashing me. And gosh, we don't even want to talk about that worm. Dude, that monitor could be a, a stepping stone on his dude on his path. I was, I was trying to chase chase Ben for a while. Chase excellence, you know. Yeah, and or uh, ben. whatever. And then I, you know, I got other people in my mind that I, I just I try and chase, but I, I don't immediately try and shoot for. It's a good way, man. I want to yeah. beat Rich running. Yeah, you guys. You know, I did beat him in twenty four point two. You did. But everybody here did actually. Did you? Yeah, everybody <laughs> beat me in twenty four point two. It was a close race in the open right now. You've got Ben by like one thousand two hundred points hey. in the yeah, overall. In the, the overall open, standings. I mean, that first workout. One workout. <clears throat> change burpees everything you're really good at burpees though too so I yeah. burpees. <clears throat> what's our prediction for 24.3 squats yeah some some below barrel for sure did i've got an, i've got a did precise a, we did prediction. a repeat last year right i don't remember i think it'd be good to not have a repeat this year you want to hear my precise prediction absolutely 21.3 and 21.4 it was the workout that had it was kind of like intervals there was built in rest you did it at the barn it was the loudest I've ever heard it in there. They had thrusters, front squats, oh, yeah. bar muscle up, toe to bar with the heavy clean, complex. Squat clean, jerk thing. Yeah. Cool. That's my prediction. Oh, neat. <laughs> cool story. <laughs> so, okay, it went 15 front squats, 30 toe to bar, 15 thruster. And then you rest them. This yeah. one, rest a minute. Mm -hmm. 15 front squat, 30 chest to bar, 15 thruster. 30 bar muscle up. And then 15, 30 bar muscle up. I like that. You like that? I would love that. Did you guys get that one yesterday? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't think so, dude. I, I don't think that we even see chest to bar, if I'm being honest. Ooh. I think in the open, it's going to yeah. stay super basic. Bold. I think so, too. I, 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 like, yeah. I think there'll be just regular pull-ups. You um, think that's like too too high of skill for what they're doing? Just for what we've seen so far, it seems that way to me. You know what yeah. I mean? Like for Dave the theme Castro, of somebody just tagged me in it, said, 
he's not programming for the Rich Fronings or the Danielle Brandons of the world. He's programming for the 99% of people that do CrossFit. Ah. Uh. Which, I mean, I'm fine with that. What if we see, like, strict pull-ups? You can't, you can't judge that. It's a great accessory movement. It's a great training movement. It's a yeah. horrible, Why are you lumped into with Daniel Brandon? Huh? What do you and Daniel Brandon know. have in it common? It was just Dave. I don't know. That means handstand walks. Maybe because no I was complaining. Walks. Maybe because, I don't know. It wasn't about the open workout, though, was it? I wasn't complaining about anything. I'm just giving Dave shit because I like to give Dave shit because he gets so upset about it. I was complaining. <laughs> yeah, you were complaining, little yeah. boy. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, we got um, real-time feedback. I was texting with Dave. He said he, he would love to be on our podcast if... We do it in Nashville. We go there. It says go where as too packed. In Nashville? Nashville. What's in Nashville? But, well, there's the open announcements in it Nashville. says we have to do it at the Proven. Oh, <clears throat> oh is that Proven? Like we proven. have to bring oh, our own cool. mics and lights and board and stuff. Yeah, or we could just well, bring the board and the headsets. We can talk offline. We can talk offline. Would you like to see that, everybody? <clears throat> I thought Scott would be, like, packing up right now. I guess we're just going to have to go to the open announcement on Thursday, <laughs> and then we can podcast with him. Yeah. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, 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 dot. <laughs> <laughs> dot, 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 dot. <laughs> dot, 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 dot. Um. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, so when's quarterfinals? April 17th through the 22nd, along so with age group. So is right. that a Thursday? Thursday when, through? It's a Wednesday? Wednesday through Sunday? Monday. 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 All right, so after turkey season starts. I got to talk to you about something about that, too, by the way. Um, what? Well, there's, you've got an invitation for that weekend, which would be awesome Where? to do uh, during the juvenile hunt. Where? Uh, can I say it? It's kind of cool. Like the, uh, so the Tim Tebow foundation has their mm. big gala and like you would be a gala yeah. or is it gala or gala? I think it depends on where you're from. Where, I mean, gala. Yeah. Gala. Apples. Potato, potato, Classic. you know, potato, potato. Gala. Where's so it? We'll at? talk about it later. Uh, Florida. But you'd only have one day left to no, do the hunt. Tough. The kids, it's tough. The kids want to go youth. It's tough. Um, <laughs> gosh, I kind of want to go back to open chat, but then it feels like feels Total like we're open. Up. We okay. got nothing to do. We run the show anyway. All right. So, cause, so I know you don't like the being an athlete in the open environment. Mm -hmm. You guys feel like Mertens and Medeiros would have done a ton better if they weren't in a garage in, or like, I mean, I guess they had longer transitions. They had like, they didn't, of course they didn't know that the row didn't matter as much, but in my mind, I can't think of, I mean, if you're Mertens, there's you can't slow down your row that much and then make up that ground. Like you there's make an up extreme the disadvantage to doing it yeah. in the open announcement. Yeah, so it's an extreme disadvantage in doing it without watching other people do it. Yes, I mean any workout really. If you if we always joke, if you t if somebody's like, hey, what'd you do? What was your time? Never tell them your time, right? Because they can always beat it. It doesn't even matter if their fitness yeah. level isn't even close. If they know the transitions and stuff, or if it's close, your fitness yeah. is close. If you know the time, you can beat them. Are you yeah, I mean even even in like on my level. <laughs> You talk about uh, Josh Gunkler, another one of our videographers. He was, what was he, like a 220 to he 240 pace? He rode between pace. a 220 and a 240 pace. And he, 10 rounds plus? No, no, no. Eight, no. eight rounds plus. Eight rounds. Oh, yeah. okay, okay. I thought he annihilated it. There was, there I mean, was that someone, was, I know, she, it was a girl. She rode, she rode a 220, and she almost got 10 rounds. It's wild. Like, well, I when know. I started realizing it wasn't about the row, and it was like the running joke all day because I was hanging out, um, doing photo video stuff and Dom was back there judging all day and I knew what my score was and like what pace I rode. And then basically Zoe, Zoe tied me, Bailey tied me, Paige beat it. And I rode a 150 and went unbroken and they obviously all went unbroken, but they were rowing like 203, 204. So, so I was like, okay, it's, it's clearly not about the row, you yeah. know, it's about yeah. the transition yeah. time and the cycle rate. Yeah. That was when I figured that out. Cause the math was not mathing for me. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you, you basically made fun of my row when I saw you that morning. Yeah, because <laughs> I, I, I still stand by this. I think, <clears throat> I obviously, at the top level, it's not about the row. I think in, like, the, I think maybe in the, like, set six, seven, eight rounds, it, the big man should still do better because that 185 barbell is heavy for normal people. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Like, is that a heavy barbell for Stevie? It's not. It's not. Um and also, you got to accumulate. You got to account for mistakes. Like, so, how did he beat mm -hmm. you? Double unders? Yeah, double unders. I he like definitely wasn't rowing as fast as me. Huh? I feel like that's all it is. It's double under workout. It's a like if you can. And mm, also, like to Rich's point, interest. he I had gone immediately before him. Like yeah. he saw exactly. Yeah, what he I knew did. what to do. Yeah, yeah, that's lame. Yeah. 
Um, Did you see Tudor Magda is the only person to go over a thousand reps? Really? Trice <laughs> loves that name. Crazy. I don't know why. Tudor? He just laughs and says Tudor. <laughs> 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 when we were at semifinals a couple years ago. Tudor. <clears throat> when there's that that uh, meme we made where he's staring at. Uh, <laughs> you guys remember that? We'll put it up on the screen if we can. When we made all those memes when he's staring at Brooke Wells when she's crying when she finds out he uh, she qualified. And he just looks at her like. <laughs> <laughs> it's so, it's so good. And Taylor <laughs> Williamson said like. He looks at her, <coughs> looks back at Taylor, and Taylor's like, <laughs> and he just chuckles and like, <laughs> it's so it's so good and so bad at times. Like you know, Brooke's pretty emotional because she qualified. I think she, did she qualify or not qualify? Well, last year. No, no, it was this two was years two ago. years ago. Two years ago when she, she qualified. qualified, she like came back from the elbow, the elbow and, thing. But Trice is just like, didn't just the, didn't understand the, con- the didn't face. comprehend the emotions. Let me yeah. see if I can find it and show you guys because it's so. Wor- and then we just made so many memes about it, like. <clears throat> oh, it was so good. So open stuff, keep going if you want. As that was what was on my mind, you know. I was like, and it didn't look like they redid it. So no, no, no. Nah, there's no re- like the top twenty five percent. There's no real reason to, um, you know, when there was when it was <clears throat> the stepping stone to get to sanctionals, or you could go to the sanctionals or whatever. Which I. I When it was a qualifying <laughs> games spot for the games, I really did not like it because yeah. there's so much gray area and people could find out tricks and you could do stuff at the affiliates. Not to say people were cheating, but they'd found like yeah. some kind of weird, you know, something. Loophole. That's loopholes. one thing I noticed too. Um, You've got to look at some of these workouts and think, all right, how could people cheat and how could we eliminate that, mm-hmm. you know? I noticed <clears throat> so there's a lot of people who do really good in online qualifiers but then once you put them on the competition floor, it's you a lot different. You don't say. It's yeah. Really There's got to be something to that where, A, they could be cheating online. But I think even more is a lot of people aren't, like, game time. Lights are on. People are watching. <laughs> yeah. I've got to yeah, wait yeah. on someone else's clock to go. Like, real game time athletes. And then you've got the opposite, right? Like, guys like Angelo. He, he might as well be me when he's working on the gym. But he gets out on the competition floor and he's like a superhuman. It's a gamer versus a practice player. Yeah, you know, it's, like cra- it's crazy. It's crazy to see are just both sides of that. They can't either can't handle the pressure, or they just, or they love the pressure and they love the like mm-hmm. lights are on. That's what they do. You know. I'll give you two more from the open announcement. I want to hear Scott's opinion on this too. Um, one of the things. <laughs> <laughs> one of the yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, some of the the chatter was about isolating Justin's coach during the announcement and he apparently messed with his jump rope, which is in the rules is you're not allowed to do it. But apparently they switched out a jump rope or tightened it. it. it I believe they brought a whole new jump rope in. It's the open announcement. There's chaos going on. Just let him let it ride. Yeah. Yeah. I think it was one round too. It wasn't, if he was doing it every round, then absolutely. I think two things are, I think two things are true or one thing is true. And another thing is my opinion. The true thing is that it's a rule that you can't do that. But my opinion is who the hell cares? Yeah. What did it affect? And they're like, okay, have two jump ropes. And granted, when Roman did his workout, yeah, he who, had who puts his down own two jump, jump ropes to be ready. <laughs> like, Roman did you did, have two jump ropes? Roman had two jump ropes. Oh, did he? All yeah. Right. <laughs> but I don't know if that's because of all the, the Justin stuff. But it doesn't matter. Like, if you're going to argue that, he had to walk an extra 10 feet every single transition. And then you have guys like, no offense, Ben, but he's deadlifting so close that when he drops the bar, it bumps into the rower. Every time. I was like, you son of a. (laughs) So it's like, if we're going to argue about one thing, why don't we complain about the fact there's not a floor layout, which I don't even care about that, honestly, because it's not a, it's not like people are qualifying to the games through it. No. So it's fine. Yeah. No, like I said, it's easier on gyms. The fact that we're not qualifying somebody to the games or this isn't your only way to get to semifinals. I'm fine with it. The, the no tape on the floors is so nice. It is nice, and but I, I do like, <coughs> I did like, even if it was just like you got two foot between each thing, it would be, an, make simplify, a little more simplify the, formula. the floor layouts, but ah, whatever. Who cares? I'm fine with it for quarters, yeah. like having to have to do that, but for the open, it is kind of nice just to yeah, for everybody, every, set up I'm however not, you want. I'm not going to like die on that. I just kind of yeah. like the... I like that. Well, I will you say like that? I Sorry. probably wasted 35 yeah. seconds just on transitions because I didn't. I set up like a eight. moron. You yeah. didn't watch our tips and trips. The Ben Muted Triangle. <laughs> I was there for it. I just didn't pay attention. 
I lost a lot of time going to the chalk bucket you know, it was a know, for, the, for the double unders. I set up a chalk bucket. It was kind of an arrow. Yeah, what do you yeah, want to go to? It was kind of an arrow, you know? <laughs> exactly. Like rower, barbell, <laughs> double under, so it's like an arrow. But we called it the Bermuda Triangle. Ben, ben came ben up with it. I, I, he came up with the layout. I came up with the name. Okay, I like it. <clears throat> I like the name and Because it was like rower, barbell, yep. and then you double under it here. So it was like a triangle. Yep. Let, Let me, me say something. It. Do you remember that workout, open workout? It was 20-minute AMRAP of uh, Tota Bar, Calorie Row, and Dumbbell Hang Clean and Jerk? Or was it Dumbbell Thruster? Hang Clean and Jerk. Hang. You remember that one? No. It was like 14 row, 8 Tota Bar, and I don't remember, a 10. Well, it was 20 minutes of that. Double or No, single? it was single. Um, that year, I the first time I did it, I got like 360 reps on the 20-minute AMRAP. And then I saw her by doing like that transition thing, like putting the rower almost under the total bar and putting the dumbbells on the other side of it, yeah. you know. And I redid it a day later and got 40 reps better. Jeez. And then that made me, when this workout came out, I was like, oh, it's the exact same. Exact it's three, same it's three movements Ben's for like, 20 I, minutes. I got it. But like, even if you spin one, like Darren said, nothing hurts so bad that like you have to like slow down or break. It just mm-hmm. like, once it starts to suck, you're on to the next thing. Yeah. But that was the exact same workout, basically. Yep. It was just like, like y- if you spend even half a second or one second on Feeling every transition, that's 30 seconds on a 10-round workout. I mean, that could be a whole other round almost, right? So you're or half the round. transition, you know? Yeah. Anyways, that's where, that's... Get it? Yeah. yeah. I get it. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess overall grades, period, but also like, so, so uh, what did you guys think about Seth Rollins? And um, and then the open announcements, like actually, you guys are working, so I don't know if you even have time. I, I have a strong opinion. You on guys this. are looking for the workout, might like probably more than the show, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Mm-hmm. What's this? Well, Scott has a strong well, opinion. No, it, has, it doesn't have anything to do with Seth Rollins per se. I think whatever. Like I get why they had him announce it, and for WWE, like uh, that's their thing. I think it's huge. But I think why do people watch wrestling? They know. Ooh, why do you oh watch buddy. WWE oh when buddy. you know hey, this it's fake? Oh this God. is going to be more aggressive than the Deadpool stuff. We're dead. People know it's fake. Why do they watch it? Oh, people love it. Makes, dude, I, that's, dude, that's, I, that's one of the biggest it. audiences. And the most passionate. Okay, and the but, most okay passionate. so you used to watch it. Why did you watch it? I'm, I'm genuinely curious why anyone would watch it. It's a great that. show. I loved it. It's a well, great I was show. So, it was when I was a kid the first time. So I did this weird, like, when Hulkamania was going on, I was a huge Hulk fan. Loved it. Remember, what's the movie? Uh, Thunder in Paradise? Where he has the boat. I think it's Thunder in Paradise. I can't remember. But anyway, Hulk Hogan, Hulkamania. That was like big. And then I switched out of it. And then I came back when Stone Cold and The Rock. Dude, yep. Stone. I was a huge Stone Cold fan. You see The Rock's like coming back. And I don't know if it's to spice it back up or not. But like. Yeah. I don't know. Stone Cold. Like I was not a Rock fan. I am now. Like yeah. I like The Rock now. But Stone Cold was like. I was a huge Stone Cold fan. He was the junk. Um. And like Triple H. I think I watched that WrestleMania when Stone Cold. And that's when I got back into wrestling. And you knew it was fake, but who cares? You know, movies are fake, but you like those. The and athleticism you watch that? is next That's level too. And actually, I don't, I, I, I don't watch nowadays. I don't either. Um, but no, I, I, just, they do, I don't know if they do like ladder fights and stuff. But the ladder <laughs> fights used to be like those dudes were like that was death defying stunts. Yeah. On a consistent basis. I mean, they still do. Like you watch some of the stuff. I, it's fun. It's all in good fun. You know. What do you have, Ben? Yeah, he's got Dude, something to I, say. I remember vividly, Scott, the the like the passion. I had never even watched wrestling before, but for some reason it was on in my room on my SpongeBob TV. And I'm sitting there, I'm watching it. And this guy, Big Show, he's Big Show. Yep. You remember him? I remember he's the big, big dude. He's out there and there he's wrestling this guy. And then another guy comes out of the audience. He starts fighting Big Show too. So it's two versus one. And they start hitting him with a chair, throwing him on glass. See? And I was. <laughs> You were oh, in. Scott, I was so passionate about him. <laughs> I, w- I wanted to go help him so bad I was crying. Oh, my god. I'm gosh. not even kidding you. I was crying. And oh. I remember running to my dad. Or maybe it was my mom. I don't remember if, there was, if this was bef- before the divorce or not. But I remember just running there. And I'm like, we have to go help them. Like, I don't know where they're at, but can we please go right now? It's live. And I was crying. I was so passionate about it. This isn't. Podcast. So you never watched wrestling whatsoever? No. I don't understand. I don't understand why you people watch out. it. Seth, you watch wrestling? I used to, and then I found out on YouTube when I was like in middle school that WWE was fake. And oh, that was you I didn't was like, know that before that. I didn't know that, so I loved it. I don't know if I knew I that actually it. when I yeah. was. I think I had it like an, everybody would say it was and fake, then, and I'm yeah, like, yeah, my dad wrong. ended up telling me, <laughs> dude. I, I loved, like, dude. When and then I, like, I think I quit watching real. it when Stone Cold started kind of phasing out. You know, he got you know older and just quit kind of doing it. And I think that's when I I exited. Have you? 
Speaking of that, have you watched him getting into the cold plunge? Yes, dude. And he couldn't <laughs> do it. So good. And he couldn't. Oh, it was so Mother. good. Mother. Like, he's like live and he's like, son of a, like, just cussing. And he just gets out. Oh, he's just like, I can't do it. It's <laughs> so good. This is so cold coming to you live from the ranch. And then he's like, I can't, I can't, you know, yeah. it's so, he's like, what's this thing yeah. called? Oh, uh, if you get a chance, watch that video. It's, have you seen it, Ben? Oh, uh, it's good. But yeah, I, uh, to your point, I, I think it's great. I thought it was great too. New audience. They bring in a huge audience. Yeah. I wish they would have given him a different crowd because like, oh, or, like he would have, crowd. or he would have prepped them, you know, because they like it, it, he was doing his thing and nobody, maybe nobody knew he was going to do his thing, yeah. but he was doing his WWE thing. And there was a garage full of people that were kind of like clap, clap. Did you, you know? uh, did you have a, uh, an opinion on them not doing it an affiliate? I'm fine with it. You're fine with it? They've done it before. I mean, I feel like uh, there's an aspect to CrossFit. I know, I know everybody's going to be like, well, Justin's barn is an affiliate. Yeah, the barn here used to be an affiliate. I think there's an aspect of CrossFit to like, I know yeah, they're no, trying to push the affiliate, gymmers. but there's I, I'm the garage not gymmer. Any, like, I can see the point for both sides. You know, like we're trying to promote the community and promote um, affiliates. But there's, you know, a large group of people that do it in their garage, so I'm fine with it. But let's be honest, Justin's barn is not a garage. Well, this yeah, is not a your, garage. Yeah. Um, but, you know, what was it? What, who's, whose garage was it? It was just a random dude we found. Oh, yeah. It was an application that was process. Actu- yeah. That was actually pretty cool. Yeah. I would was that rather, the Dan Bailey one? Yeah, mm-hmm. where Dan yeah. Yeah, missed, that was dope. Uh, when Dan's reps got miscounted. Big, yes. uh, big, big deal. Big deal. Joe Moe. That, yeah, Joe that was yeah, that was one of my I favorites because it was just a it was an actual it was a dude's like, place we I, found. Not nothing against like going to Justin's. It was cool. It was cool to see that. Cool to see his barn garage, whatever it is. Um, but I think it would have been cooler to like find an actual garage yeah. gymmer and you know, a hundred percent. Yeah, outfit their gym with whatever it needs and all that stuff. Yeah, and I liked everything about that one. I remember I'll never forget because uh, BKG was there and I maybe didn't know he was going to get to the heavier weights. Maybe he just didn't bring something. But he got to the 315 barbell and he just looked around and he walked over to the wall and just took the dude's belt off his wall. <laughs> <laughs> Put the dude's belt on and just kept going. Remember when we did, you guys came out for an, it was pre-open announcement. We did the snatch. Did you come out for that? I wasn't you here for that. Oh. You were still at TTU for that one? Yeah, we yeah. did the snatch. Me and Dan did the snatch. That afternoon we did Friday Night Lights at the Burpees. So we did two of the open workouts in one day. And then we went back to the house. And we were in the garage doing uh, partner DT back and forth. And, like, Boz was there. Yes. Uh, and Dave was there. It was pretty fun. But it was in my garage. Yep. And my garage at the time was literally just a garage with a barbell, and like a P4 on the wall. Yeah. Um, so, but that's cool. I, I That's the only part of me that I'm like, I wish they would have found – and affiliate, like, an, I mean, a garage, an actual sh- garage gym. They should have done week one at a garage gym like that. Because can you imagine a sprint workout where it's, like, a very small area? You could have just packed it in, and they're just surrounding yeah. them, like, fight club, just screaming. Yeah. That would have been crazy. Yeah. So, I always wish there would be, like, I love the announcement. Mm-hmm. But I wish that there would be, to all the reasons we've said, like you get advantages from having like seen other people do the workout, whatever, whatever. If they would bring the top two people in the world or in the country or whatever is logistically possible to one place at one time for the close of the open. Or sorry, for the close of the week. You know what I mean? Be Back like, up. make them redo. Top score, top score. You guys come together. Now you do a head to head live. Like whoever's or in like, first right now? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Or, or whatever. Maybe they don't want to do it twice, but like <clears throat> it airs it. You know, an hour before the leaderboard closes, live show with two of the top scores in the world. Yeah. And it's just like, boom. Well, shout Just out, your point. Uh, yes and no. Alex that would be Carone. interesting because there's people right now that could smash the open, but then next week. Irrelevant. Um, yeah, yeah. Like, could you even do a bar muscle up? Yeah, you know, fair. You could smash these ones. How do you know it's going to be bar muscle ups? Do you have an inside? Yeah, yeah no, I text Dave. What are you Dave. Yeah. <laughs> Does he answer you? No. <laughs> <laughs> I remember, I remember, I texted you that one time about uh, the football game. I texted you before it. I don't know if you ever saw the DM. Probably uh, not. I didn't have Instagram at that point. Yet. Yeah, but I text, <laughs> I text you something should we, about we that. We should tell that story, huh? That flag football game. <laughs> so my actually one of my I think this is like one of the first times I'd ever talked to Seth. Yeah. Seth comes up to me at like a kid's birthday party at a pool. The slice, yeah. No, it was at the pool. <laughs> oh wait, no, it was Jen, the pool. Jen yeah, Marlin's yeah. pool. That's what it was. It might have been Lakeland's birthday, but we I don't even know. But I anyway, don't remember. he walks up to me, he's like, Hey, we play you guys in flag football on Sunday. I'm like, 
Oh yeah, cool kid. <laughs> this is when our teams were separate. Yeah, our teams were separate. We were. Was we this the exact game I freaked out at? Could have been. No, I think this was a different one. Um, we'd had two separate kind of mayhem teams. One of our teams was a travel team, so it was half like mayhem guys, and then the other half another team that we joined with cheap suits. Um, and <laughs> one so was good, one was bad. And That's so Seth, you guys weren't bad, but we were that good. Yeah, and yeah. So yeah, Seth walks up to me. He's like, "Hey, you want to put a weight? We play you guys Sunday." You want to make a bet? I'm like, this is going to end bad for you, kid. But go ahead. And he's like, if, if we win, you got to give me a T-shirt. I'm like, okay. <laughs> High stakes. Out of the store. And he's like, but if, if you guys win, I'll do 100 burpees? 100 burpees. 100 burpees after the game. Yeah. I was like, this is going to end bad for you, but all right, cool, man. Yeah. <clears throat> After the game's 49 to 7, <laughs> we're shaking hands. And I mean, it's middle of the summer. So it was like 90 degrees or something like that. Dude, 90% so humidity hot. or whatever. And I think it had just rained and the, f- the field was like kind of damp. Wet. And so we shake hands. I'm like, Seth, pay up on those burpees. <laughs> no, you know, it, the game ended. And then I, I started walking off the field. And then Rich just shouted my name. <laughs> Everyone heard it. <laughs> Seth. And then he called me over to the middle of the field. I started doing burpees on the sideline first. And he said, no. He put me in the middle of the field. And he said, do burpees. And Rory, you. after Seth's about 90 in, feels bad. So he walks up and yeah. does the last seven with him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man, dude. That sounds about right. That was so hot. <coughs> and I think I told you to go ahead and get a shirt, too, but he never did. Yeah, so I never did. We still owe you a shirt. I yeah. have a shirt for, for doing it. the podcast, too. Yeah, dude. Gosh, that was bad. <laughs> I thought it was funny, though. I wanted to make a bet. Yeah, I swear that was the game I got angry. It might have been. That's when Seth, or when Scott lost his mind. <coughs> From what? It was like forty nine. Uh, if you seven don't know, then maybe it wasn't the and game. And he was playing. Uh, if you weren't there, you would know. Like you know, oh. Scott's pretty even. Keel. You would have remembered. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. If you flip his switch. Yeah. Oh, I me and Rory yeah. were both like, "Hey, dude. Yeah. Calm down. Yeah. Yeah. We'd like he's shouting. Yeah. Like, it must not have been the same nah, game. It wasn't he the same game. You would remember. It would like almost. Yeah. Then it wasn't that game. No. It was. Yeah. Is one of my favorite memories of all time. Yeah, just to know where Scott can go. Scott lost his mind. Govero was blocking. No, no Scott, I was blocking. He was blocking. <laughs> and Scott maybe put a little knee out there. Mm-hmm. Govero played soccer. Mm-hmm. I played soccer too, flopped, for the record. Might have flopped a little bit. So mm-hmm. they throw. It's like it's 49 to nothing at this point. They may have thrown a touchdown on that play because, mm-hmm. you know, it's garbage time. Yeah. And ref calls illegal block or, you know, tripping illegal contact or, or mm-hmm. tripping or something. And Scott goes ballistic. And so the ref, you can't. Swear in this league, or else you get you have to go sit out. Well, Scott has to go sit out oh, and no. just start Dude, cussing. Can't, can't swear side. depending on who you are and if he feels like calling it. Yeah, true. Yeah. Any that's <laughs> with any of the anything yeah, that goes yeah. on in the refs. Um, and so Scott just loses his mind and goes ballistic on the sideline. And me and Rory are like, "Dude, hey!" But he was in his face for a while. Oh yeah, he was like, "Oh, so you're saying that I can't say boop?" And you're saying that I can't say boop? <laughs> was, oh yeah. Also, what if I said boop? boop, boop, boop. Part of the thing that added to it, it was his second touchdown that was called back for us Maybe. that game. Maybe. So it was, was like uh, the, uh, another reference that you won't know is uh, wait sh- sh- I can't even think of it now. Uh, the one with uh, Wesley Snipes and and uh, they're in the future. Anyways, there's no toilet paper in the future. You have to use three seashells. Oh, idiocracy. Are you talking about that? No. Oh. Um, anyways, he three goes up seashells. Exactly. It's, it's the jo- running joke, right? That's how, and he never figures out how you're supposed to use them. So he wants toilet paper. So he just goes up to like the, the cuss ticket dispenser yeah. and just cusses it out. And like, it just keeps rolling <laughs> out, rolling out tickets. And that's what he uses to wipe with. Anyways, somebody will know the name of the, the show. Um, all right. So what does it take? So when you say you want to be a professional athlete and not have to work, you're talking about winning and sponsorships effectively right yeah okay well you're sitting in for angelo and all he does is shout out his sponsorships so oh, like, anybody you want to shout out uh you got people to shout out like you got you got endorsements right now my buddy josh back home i searched with him yeah he dude he's his, endorsing you he's a uh, oh no he ain't <laughs> a sponsor he's just my friend i'm saying is there are there are there any code sets that we can give out like no oh uh you could try code um stovall at buffalo brew it might not get you anything off but <laughs> you could try it okay we, we got don't work have a do. mayhem we got well, a job we got a yeah we gotta so I got this. a job bro. Seth, how, many, how many instagram followers do you have you don't have a mayhem athlete code 15 uh, just under 15k you don't have a mayhem athlete code i might i don't know and you're you're but you're big time on TikTok, right? Don't I remember like your van and stuff is yeah. pretty popular on TikTok. Yeah, I was posting like the van build on TikTok, and then all of a sudden, I, I and I I got like millions of views <laughs> on that and stuff, and it's pretty easy to go viral on TikTok. And yeah. 
And then one day TikTok's they just like took, Instagram. It's like just a different app. Yeah, I don't have yeah. that one. They just, they that's just, the Chinese one, right? That's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's the one where they're stealing all your data. And yeah, they, they, well, and one day they just took all my videos down. And I was like, all right, well. Chinese. Yeah. And that's you can make you can make a little bit of money off TikTok and but it I it's not much. You could get like, you know, ten million views, but you're only making We need a code Seth to make him an athlete. Yeah. Tell Jake that. He, and we should do an apparel. I bet one. he does have it, but you I, tell Dre. Yeah, and if you're watching it. and you like the flow, like Seth's he's open for business. Yep. Look at this kid. He's got holes in his shoes for God's sake. He's got highly bands. marketable. Somebody that works at Vans, send this kid some shoes. These, maybe a sponsorship. These are He'll be your most loyal. Don't you know a guy? Yeah. I, remember. I, I thought remember. you knew a guy at Vans. Do I know somebody at Vans? You've known think, someone at Vans? And I don't think here? so. I, don't I thought think so. Seth asked you that one day. I think he's making that up. I don't <laughs> if I, if, Seth, if I knew somebody at Vans, I would hook you up with somebody at Vans. I don't. And it's not me. You're right. Maybe I was just hoping that was true. <laughs> it sounds like a rich thing, though. Like, later he'll be like, oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah the guy who owns oh, it. Oh, oh, right, right. So yeah, I have, no. this no, is no, the Jim most. owns that company. <laughs> yeah. This is the most <laughs> accurate meme ever. Are you going to send Vans a DM? Right now? No, I can. Dude, oh, okay. with actually with Vans, a story about Vans. When we were on the team, uh, one of the um, – uh, Jay, he reached out to – I mean, he DM'd anyone he knew that worked at Vans. Um, he, he DM'd all of them, emailed all of them, whoever he could find the highest one up, emailed everyone, never got one response back. Dang. And then there was one girl at the games that year who – was sponsored by Vans. It was uh, Kelsey. Kelsey Keel. Yeah. She, and I didn't even see her wear Vans the whole time. Hmm. And I wore Vans in every event. Except the I was like, run. Except, yeah, except there was one push. of it. No. You wear Vans? Okay. No, the run, I couldn't, I didn't do it in the run. Um. Oh, where well, we had a lift in. Yeah. I had a squat 400 pounds and runners. Mm -hmm. I remember I wasn't going to, but then I asked you, and you said you, you squatted in runners or something like that one time, and you said it was fine. It was fine. I was like, well, I guess I'll try it. I guess I'll do All it. I saw was ankle rolls. Yeah. Yeah. This one, uh, it says today years old on Instagram. It says this is 100%, 110% me. Please do not take it personal. And it says why I don't text back. And there's like options. And it says I was sleeping, not selected. I was driving, not selected. I was ignoring you, not selected. I forgot, not selected. And then this one selected. I said I saw your text and told myself I was going to respond, but I wanted to finish what I was doing first. After that, I got sidetracked, went to something else, and completely forgot about your text, that your text even existed because I was stuck in my own tiny world until I went to text you a couple of days later and even weeks later and something completely unrelated. A hundred percent. I'm like, oh, I'm in the middle of a workout or something. I'm like, oh, I'll text him back. Yep. On. So yep. Best thing respond. that ever happened now is the mark is unread. But it's still, I always forget to do that. I though. do it, but then I wish that they would like filter them. Like yeah. I wish my unread stayed at the top. Stay at the top. Otherwise, you just scroll through them for days. And well, see you fine. can do that on um, emails. Have you yes, notice you that? do it on you email on the for sure. Far left, it'll only show the ones that are not select or not. Read. Yes, but I need it on text. Yeah. Um, all right, dude. Well, we're gonna we're gonna shake we're gonna down get you some codes. You. I can't yeah, really, I tried I'm, it, man. I tried it. Honestly, though, these are the most comfy shoes I got. I know that They're I I know up. that I have a friend who definitely knows people at Vans. The guy who owns uh. Bubs Naturals is he's yeah. Southern California area and like all the like like Hurley and all those companies yeah. kind of like like uh, I was trying to get it just to where I can uh, just get some shoes, man. Like I'd love to just get like a pair or something because I blow through these things, you know. Uh, they don't they don't work well for rope climbs, but they I know they have trainers, yeah, of some sort. Yeah, I never actually ended up trying them. Yeah, but I think they I, blow I, out too. <clears> There's no I don't want to pay that, that much for rope climbs. Yeah, that last on rope climbs, I and mean, there are. Well, that's what I was talking to you about. I tried those Nobles with that. Clear sole. I don't no know bowls, No sole. shoes. But I don't like. Uh, yeah, no, I don't like them either. Didn't do the trick. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, but, yeah, I was going to try the Fronings. I think it was those ones. No? The X1's the best RIP. Yeah. The best shoe out there. I wanted, Well, I wanted to see which one was best with rope climbs. That was my main thing. Ben, you don't like them for rope climbs, right? I like no. them for rope they, climbs. No, they they literally will slide off my foot my, sideways. They don't slide oh. on me whatsoever. It must be the way I grip the rope. Have on you rope climbed in those? Yeah, yeah. They just chew up the tread, but oh. not not terrible. Honestly, they just kind of like after, but after a hundred rope climbs, yeah. your shoe's gonna be trashed anyway. So yeah, not bad. What shoes were you using after the rope climb event to learn rope climbs? Oh, at the same time. How'd you bring that up? That just made me think of it. Because you I had to be, remember. you had to use like a good shoe. I don't even remember. No, I think it was like at that time, maybe Innovates or something like that. Oh. <clears throat> Innovate was big back then. There had to be been like a staple Nano, shoe. That I you mean, used. we, when Reebok first got into the game, they sent us uh, the, the Zig Nano and it was garbage. And we were like, hey, 
for CrossFit. It was garbage. We were like, mm-hmm. we're not wearing this. And they they listened to us, and that's when they came out with the Nano 1. I think at the time we used some, like, random trainer that was pretty cool. Um, worked well, but it didn't work well for rope climbs. The Nano 1 did not work well for rope climbs. It was an <laughs> incredible shoe. Nano 2, same. The Nano 3 is when you could start rope climbing, and they had that kind of, like, mm-hmm. rubber casing around it. The Nano 4 is probably one of my favorite shoes ever uh, for Amen. everything, like CrossFit, rope climbs, anything, mm. so... What do you think about? Lifters? I just ordered some of those Nano Twos that they just came out with the the grays and the reds. Oh, the old school one. Yeah, those were indestructible too. For me personally, I don't like lifters. I never have. I always trained with no lifters because mm-hmm. the demands of the sport and just the not knowing if you know we're going to have to run into a heavy lift or whatever. So mm-hmm. I always got used to not wearing lifters, and I know there's a lot of criticism on that, but it is what it is. I just didn't. I was going to say when. Like, when you move so well, like you or Seth. Back when I had then, mobility in my knee. Yeah, then you don't need them. Yeah, you don't need them as much. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Now this knee is just like, nah, some days we're good. Other days we ain't getting there. I nope. tell you about my, my Cash like, only. <laughs> for me, like, well, just wait. Because, like, at my age, it's uh, it's like hair. I've got good knee days and bad knee days. And a good knee day, I'm like, oh, let's go. You know, uh, yeah. Yeah. Try, oh, yeah, you <laughs> try and get it all you in. You ride it into the ground. <laughs> yeah, no, that's the way I am. I'm yeah. like, ooh, today it didn't hurt. Let's go <laughs> yes. run 5K. Let's <laughs> squat 150 times with a wall ball. And then the next day, I'm like, oh, you moron. Yeah. It's like Dang when it. you get on a prednisone. Uh, if you have to take prednisone for anything, like get rid of some inflammation, you you're like, like oh, I'm back. Yeah. And then that last day of prednisone, you're like, oh, no, <laughs> I'm not <laughs> back. What have I done? <laughs> Do you realize what you've done? All right, 24.3 inbound. Um, if you guys want to see a special episode with Dave Castro, that means we'll have to motivate and get down there. So blow up the comments. Um, make sure you at Scott, you know, get him get him motivated. I'm very motivated. All right. Little boy. Little boy. You didn't sound too excited. No, so I, I think I, I think it would be a great episode. We just have to logistically figure out how we're doing it. Do you have any, um, any last words you want to say? You want to work out? Yeah. 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 Ye